Welcome to Factorio Train World. My name is Nilas. This is episode four of our Let's Play campaign. So um, this episode, we are going to start scaling up a bit more. What we have here is um, just at the end of the last episode, I realized that this smelting column should obviously be centered in the middle of this column. So I just took the liberty of moving it. Yes, that's just what happened. Uh, we can see here that we got lots of things Everything seems to be idling. That's because, um, yeah, I did that. Um, we are going to build more stuff. Let's make sure we get all the stuff we need here. All of this, yes, please. And all of this, and you know, maybe even get some ammo as well. Let's build, let's build a proper gun, just for the hell of it. Take those out, take these out. Yeah, this is great. This is great. We have everything we need and we should get some more science. Keep the science rolling. Uh, we'll start with some research speed and then we'll go into what else do we want? Trains. Did we get? Oh yeah, I think we got the automobile. Yeah. So at this point we will have our little starter base just being able to do all of the red and green science we need for the base. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if we could build a little car here? Yes, it would. So what do we need? We need some engines. Okay, things are running out, so let's get some. Yeah, so there's something here. Oh, that one. Ha. I was wondering why it was uh, so bad, but I guess I don't have to wonder anymore. Okay, so that one is taken care of, I think. Uh, this one can just pick up what we have. Put that in as well. Hmm. Okay. I don't think we need these anymore. So let's make our mandatory box of shame. Right, so what do we need? We need more copper for sure. That seems to be not getting, not keeping up. Yeah, we can at least do this without too much issues. We are going to have to accept that we will build on the path for uh, for all of this. And that means we're probably going to have to take you out. We'll put you here. I mean, initially, I guess we'll try not to, but, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And we also have some that one and that one. This is by no means enough. And I can take all of this and I can put it in here and realize that it is not enough. That one goes in here and this one's go continue and I don't need the rest of it, do I? No, not really. Okay, now <clears throat> onwards, upwards, outwards, this one. We are going to take this smelting column set up, except it's going to be different. You know, I'll actually, I'll actually take this one with me like this and then go over here and this one will be copper. And the reason why I bring it along is because I need, I need it to be exactly alike. Otherwise I'm just going to go crazy. So this one, however, this we can do different. We can do it from this side instead. Like that. That should be working just fine. This one seems to be something we should take out. Ah, those damn robots. They are so slow. But eventually, eventually they'll get it. Can I just take this row out here? I wish I could just leave them here. I mean, just having a simple robot port just to leave them. That would be nice. Uh, I can build various things here we might need while we are working. <clears throat> lights? Oh, we have plenty of lights. Does this even have... Yeah, it does have lights. Okay, so you're unfortunately so far more focused on harvesting than on building. Let's see. Okay, so the idea here is I'm going to have a city block here and a city block here. This one will be trains eventually. And this one will simply provide steel, uh, not iron, steel, uh, copper, that's what it's called, into a train that will go out here. And that means we need to figure out a way to pick things up from the trains. We are working our way towards trains, albeit slowly. It'll at least help us with sort of the, some of the basic stuff. 
If we get signals and trains and why, why are they actually three? So the first one is building railways. Second one is building. So you can build rails, but not even stations. So stations, is, I haven't even never even considered this. But it's a three tier research. It's just like click, 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 get it done. But it, like, what do you need a train and tracks for if you don't have a station? I mean, suppose you could just drive it back and forth manually, but is that really something people actually do? Right, let's, um, while we have this one completing, um, can't reach, chop, chop. I can build the majority of this myself, uh, or at least help. Well, I can make mistakes. Right, so <clears throat> if we look at the future, future for this series. So it's going to be, it's called the train world, so we're gonna have a lot of trains. And I'm not sure I completely explained it or in a satisfactory manner, or if someone has missed it or forgot it because of all the other things that are going on, both here and there and everywhere. And the idea is that I will have lots of small trains. Each train will be named after one of the lovely patrons who are supporting me in my endeavor here. And uh, that means you also, as as a named train, you get the opportunity to, to run me over if. Uh, that is something you aspire to, which I know for some reason is something a lot of <laughs> supporters are dreaming of. Great thing about ghost placement of power ports is they only place on the actual on the actual ghosts if you are if you are careful enough. There we go, and we have tons and tons of these. I can put in the lights. Uh, so the trains will come into in three sizes. There'll be one one trains, one locomotive, one wagon. There'll be uh, one two trains, one locomotive, two wagons, or one four trains, one locomotive, four uh, wagons. And those will be used for different things, such as things such as copper and iron will probably be ferried in with the one four trains, while stuff like uh, steel, plastic, green circuits, maybe red circuits, maybe not will be transported with one, two trains, and then pretty much everything else will be transported with one, one trains. That's gonna be the essence of it. Oh, this one has run out. Let's just do that one, that one here. So just always pick up more. Okay, this looks good. Oh, we need to pick these up. So how do I control the trains? I don't honestly know right now. That's going to be one of the bigger issues. And another thing that I've also noticed, this microscopic coal location is the only coal we have in... Ah, okay, we got something here. So maybe we actually need to consider this. And uh, okay. so we just built this. And what do, what do I do now? I kill it. Why do I kill it? Because I... Oops. Where are all my robots? Huh? Robots? Oh, they are out of... Oh, that's some one of the new things. This one will just take care of this path here. And yes, you can yell at me all you want for building on the path, but I do have my principles and they say that in order to empty this, it is allowed. Okay, <clears throat> and that means we can take this one up here. Let's copy something like this and just just rotate it the other way. How's that one not matching? How did that... How did this thing match? And then this thing does not match. Okay, never mind. We'll just build this part. Here and build that one. Yeah. How are they now? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. nothing is connected. That's wonderful. Um, I think I'll vote for re-establishing power. There. What? Oh, you know what? That was apparently essential, this one. Hmm. What do you know?
Yeah, so now that's re-established, unfortunately. And this one can now go into here. There we go. We have the first copper location. Placed, built, done, good. Uh, except we don't have coal, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. I don't need to build this bigger because it doesn't need to be bigger. And we can take from here. And we're going to have to find a way to get the coal up there. And it also needs to go up here. So we need to get as much coal out of this as we can. Because it is mm, a bit dire. That one is dead. Take this part and build... one so here and then we take a bouncer book we have that here let's place that uh, that should probably be here. this location bouncer book we'll go to a three to one no three to two I think is what we need there that one goes down to become the fuel because that's important and the other one goes up and it becomes the fuel for various other sources such as that one like this this one should not have a buffer if i'm yeah, if i'm thinking about it i don't think it should have a buffer because this one should be a continuous flow Those poor robots. Those poor robots. They just need a hug. Is that what you, you've been saying? They just need a hug, and they don't get it. And okay, so I, I can. I'll take it up here. All of this is completely sort of. It's a combination of extremely temporary because none of what we do is yeah. Is obviously uh, final versions. But on the other hand, it's also a lot of things that we have to do. Okay. Oh, someone is scooting me over on the belt. See, that would be perfect to take it here. But someone has built some crap in the way. Hmm. I think we are going to just make allow this one to go here. And then we'll take it from this one instead. In the beginning, there'll always be this kind of mess. And I don't really mind. Because I know that eventually we'll sort this out. I can't believe that this is going to be my... There. That's working. Great. Yeah. Time for us to head out into... And we have a bit of copper that we need to get rid of. Okay, this one's really saturated. We need to build more. Otherwise, we are running out of things. How about building more of these things? Because that's going to be the next thing. Okay, so this one... Oops. <clears throat> Unless it has iron coming in, it's probably not going to do much. Now, that's going to be iron. Copper, sh uh, coal should be... Uh, sorry. Steel should be even further away. But I might want to make steel next to it because otherwise it's just going to be a massive logistical nightmare. That's rail signals. Okay, we got everything we need in terms of rails. Hmm, does that mean we could actually start building that? That would be a bit absurd, wouldn't it? I think we need landfill just because we might need landfill. Yeah, we can also do this one. We haven't met the enemy yet, but uh, 
There we go. That's up here. We never built our our little car, which would be nice, except someone has decided to build on top of where we should be building. Uh, let's build some... These are all going to make engines, because I don't need a lot of engines, but I need a few. And I'm going to need more when it comes to... And I'm going to need a lot of pipes. A lot of pipes and a lot of gears. Do I have gears produced anywhere? No. I actually have a bit of gears up here, maybe. This one is really outdated. It is so outdated, I'm really ashamed of having it around. But let's get that one out of the way. Let's make a few more of this. And what do we get? We get one, two, three, four, and we get gears. One, two, three, four, and we get steel. One, two, three, four. There you go. We got a lot of. There, that should keep us covered for a while with that one. Let's see. When we get our car, we just need some iron. That should also be okay. Are these still stacking up? Yeah, they're still stacking up. Fine. And one, two, three, four. Do I have enough? Yes, I have enough for my car. Yay! Awesome. What could possibly go wrong? Now we have the car. Boom. Whee! Okay, so this works. And that means we can now drive around. What I want to do, yeah, see, this is why we want landfill to be made. Uh, because this part. It's kind of in a conflict here. I don't want it to just clear out the space. But what I really wanted to do is actually build stuff. Problem is, I don't really need my car for that. The car is needed for greater distances, but we don't really have great distances here. We just have, like, distances. Um, let me just try to figure out where the middle is. looks even this is just some of those things that really just makes this much nicer and that's gonna be two from that side two from that side and then it'll be fine just keep an eye that it doesn't sort of slide over one tile which it did it either did or something bad happened where are the robots? Where are the robots at? Something is either sliding or... We're having a problem. No, 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 no. Here, here, this, this is the issue. There we go. And then it's aligned. Okay, let's get these inbound. The distance that you can actually mine with is kind of low, but then again, it's an iron pickaxe, so or steel pickaxe. It doesn't have the greatest of reach. That one, you can do that, right? Then get this one right ready, and we are now we now ready with this one. Okay, so what what does that imply? What does that mean? That means we can actually start making a train out here. Wow, am I, am I even going to do that? I'm not really sure, because I need to build something way bigger than this. Oh, sorry. Let's get the robots in. Please just get in and don't fly out again. That's just so much in terms of forests that have to be uh, removed. Okay, this one is just going to be a bit of a temporary thing. And I think we need to go step up on our mining operation for this. This one has to go. And same with this. This one is also too small for our needs. Need a dedicated smelting column for this. And let's see, we have this part. That could be something like this plus this. That seems okay. Do we have enough? No, we don't. So let's go grab some more 
miners there. Great stuff. And what else are we missing? Nothing really. Ah, it's great to have these robots. They're not they're not great robots, but they're great to have those robots, and it's even greater to use them correctly. There we go. That was an auto save, and I just. I don't like building this one so temporary because I'm gonna regret it. I know that this one is gonna be built. This, I, yeah, I know this one will live longer than I like it to be, and this is what always happens. Twenty-four, and that one goes just. Can we just go straight in like this? Boom. Also running out of belts now. Luckily we... What the hell? And this is the moment I regret all of this because I didn't actually want all of it to be put in there. Damn. All right, we can have we're gonna have to do it in a different way. And let's see, more belts, lots more belts. Four hundred, that's a good number. That's still good. And uh, let's go to six hundred just because. And the poor robots are coming, coming in. Let's help pick them up. This one should just be making as fast as possible. Boom, boom. Landfill. As much landfill as we can get away with. This one should be a trained setup. I've, I've said it before, but it doesn't really seem like it's very train friendly. Right. And now we need just this part. So what we're doing now is getting a absolute ton of storage of the various items. Only question is, where are we going to use it? Okay, uh, this this I think is is a good move. Um, let's do this as well for the stuff that hasn't been given anything else. Let's go. Okay, so now we have stone as well. Oh, why are we? What are we missing? We're missing some of these. Fine. Ah, there's also a bit of work out here, but that should help a lot with our sacred path placement here. So, if some people would probably watch this and go like, why is he, why is he going so slow? Yeah, I know. It is, it's not fast, but it's, it's meticulous. I like it this way. I'm, I built my previous base was way too fast and way too, I don't know, haphazard. I didn't actually like it in the end, but I, I'm going to like this base. I know it already now. I know that I'm going to like it. It's going to take a while to build and it's take a while to get into sort of, uh, to come into fruition. What we could do, see this one, this one up here is going to be a rail intersection, a T intersection. And this one will be here. And we could make sort of the next one into our hub, not a mall. We don't do malls here. And for anyone who is wondering why we don't do malls, well, a mall is where teenage girls hang out, and the hub is the center of a logistical network. So which one do you think I want in my base? Leave a comment below! <laughs> or not.
Okay, so let's continue. And we got... Why? Oh, wow. I thought we actually had this one built. We do not have it built out yet. Here they go. Two, two, three objects. Let's take this one out and mark it so that we get this one with copper. This one with stone. And this one with uh, iron. Yeah. We should also get one with steel, although officially steel should not be built out here. Steel should be built out here. <laughs> I don't know, but somewhere not here. But I think I have to build steel, if nothing else, then just build it out there. Just so that we can actually say that we have it. And then we can take this one out. All right, that's been built. We are going to build... I think we're going to build one the steel part. Steel is super easy to build. Still have a lot of this. And there's no point in upgrading to the steel furnaces until you actually have... Um, oops. Um, until you have red belts. Because the red belt fits with this. And let's see. This is 24. Okay. So. If I do... This one for the steel. Then the intention is that I go here. Like this. And I will then take only go to the coal. And the coal. So basically what happens is this belt is a mixed coal of an iron ore. He, up here, the iron ore. The iron ore gets stopped. The coal goes in here, gets merged with the finished cup of iron plates. And they go out here and form the next part. Next part being this part. Which will then obviously be bigger. Because it's now going to be sifted two tiles up. Only thing I can do is I can do... That one, just make the storage smaller, which is going to be fine because it's steel, so it's there's no way that it can be as big as the other one. So, that will be our steel production facility. It's going to take a while to build. Why is it not coming out? Oh, because they rather want to do this part. Well, let's, let's not do that. So, when you, if we, if we complete this, which we absolutely will, then... Although this could be said to be a slow episode, if we really look at it, we got iron smelting, copper smelting, stone smelting, and steel smelting operational in one episode. That's that's not entirely bad, is it? Not entirely bad. Now we also have to remember this one takes a full yellow belt, this one takes half of a yellow belt. That's also something to keep in mind. I really don't want to help the robots out. I think they should be doing this themselves. And I will, however, take that one and run away from the robots because that's just what we do. And, okay, unfortunately that one has to... That corner has to be taken out. And over here we built one more line. Not going to be big enough, but we can take this out. Probably not going to be enough in my inventory. And I'm deliberately not using robots to build this, to pick this up, because it would, first of all, take way too long. Yeah, that's to be expected. Oh, okay. Well, when we run out, good to have some extra things. Yeah, that one. Get this one, and... Oops. Like this. Damn, the robots are gone. And maybe if you treat them better, they wouldn't run away from you. Ah. So if this one goes a bit further, this one, 
I'll go in and then I need to add this point. Get a bouncer. Three to three bouncer. Can we fit it? We can fit it up here. Almost, at least. Maybe if that one goes further down. Yeah. It's gonna go one out, one out. There. Come on, robots. This is what you need to do. Go, 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 go. I want to see some steel flowing through. Otherwise, we just it's just me saying that I've built steel. You need to see it. You need to see some steel flowing in the belt. What kind of world do we live in where a man has to knock down his own trees himself? Okay, and there's also something out here that isn't done. Yep. That's much better. We still have some options out here for extending this one. And down here as well. Should be also be fine. Okay, and these are needed. There. How many do we have? We have 18, so there's only two rogue yet. And yet this one's not working, but it will, it will soon enough. We want to see it working. <clears throat> The coal is coming in, the iron is coming in. Ah, we are running out of the bad power balls. That's fine. We can. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Move up. And that thing is not necessary. So here we can see if. Yeah, see, there we go. The coal is coming up. And we got the first coal, uh, steel, smelting. Coal, steel, red, green, blue, whatever. Something's melting. And we don't know exactly if we have all of it or if some of our robots are missing. Well, they clearly are missing. Ah, uh, we're missing, now we're missing belts. Okay, I know we're going over time, but um, we must have it completed. Done. Fly out my minions. Wow, this one is already full. And there you have it. We have some... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. Good. We have it. It's done. Fantastic. We have all the resources we need, <laughs> barring everything else. And then we'll uh, we'll continue next time with actually making some trains, or at least some tracks for the trains. That should be interesting. So we can build stuff up here. We're going to build like the first trains going back and forth, just to get a sense of what we want. Okay, so that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay effective.